is Sandra and I'm the arthritic artisan. So which craft are we going to be doing today? We're going to be making a cute birdhouse English garden style with just a few simple materials. Now I need to apologize for my voice. I'm really feeling under the weather here. We're going to start by taking some E6000 on the top rim of that vase and putting the center of the birdhouse on top of that vase. You could also use super glue. Super glue would hold really, really well. You're going to set that aside to dry and while that's drying, we're going to make some embellishments out of hot glue and a silicone mold. That's right. We're going to start by filling up all the intricate little areas of the silicone mold and then just filling the whole thing in with hot glue. Don't go straight up to the top of the edge because you don't want flyaways or overhangs on your hot glue. Once you have those cavities filled, you're gonna set that aside to dry. All right, we're back. Everything is dry. We're gonna take some corrugated paper. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. And we're gonna trace out both sides of the roof of the birdhouse. On one side, when you trace it out, you're gonna leave just a little bit of overhang and that's so that when we put it on, we can overlap the top of the birdhouse roof and it'll be seamless when you get done. I'm marking it left and right so I know which one goes on which side. And then just get your scissors and cut that out. Once you have it all cut out, you're going to add some hot glue to one side of the birdhouse and starting at the bottom of the roof pitch, you're going to put that piece of corrugated paper on there, flip it over, add some hot glue and do the same thing on the other side. When you have both sides on, just put a little bit of hot glue under that overhang on that first piece of corrugated paper and fold it down to match it up to the other side and now you have a seamless roof. We're going to get some Parisian gray paint by Full Guard. Squeeze a little bit out on my fancy paint palette here and we're just going to roughly and randomly paint the roof of this birdhouse. I'm not worried about complete coverage because we're going to make this look like it's a little old and like it's been there a while. We don't want it to look brand new. If we wanted it to look brand new, we'd go to Macy's and pick one up. Once we're done adding the gray in, we're going to take some white metallic paint by Americana and just pounce it on the top of that birdhouse randomly kind of thick in places and not so thick in other places. Once you get done pouncing and it looks good to you, we're going to take some rose gold, also by Americana, and just dry brush it over. This metallic paint is going to act as rusty spots on the top of the birdhouse. So you just want it random. You don't need full coverage. Once you get done with that, you're going to notice it looks kind of like an old tin roof with bird poop and rust, but in a not in a harsh, rusty way. We want to keep it soft because, like I said, we're trying to make an English garden type birdhouse here. Since your embellishments are dry, go ahead and pop those out and just set them aside for a little bit. We're going to take this really pretty mint green paint by Americana. It's an acrylic paint with a chalk finish. We're going to give two good coats to that glass jar and we're also going to give a coat to the birdhouse. And again, I do apologize. I really am under the weather and I can hardly breathe. So if you hear me, I'm okay. I'll be okay. I just, ugh, I hope I don't annoy you too much with my heavy breathing here. Once you get done applying your chalk paint, and you're on your second coat on the glass jar. While it's still wet, we're gonna pick up some of that Parisian gray paint and just starting at the bottom, make a single swipe up from the bottom up. 
don't go more than just one swipe. We just want a gradient look with the gray and the mint green. It's gonna make it look really pretty. Once you get done making those swipes, you're gonna dry brush the Parisian gray over the birdhouse itself. Next, we're gonna take some of that white metallic paint and do the same thing that we did with the Parisian gray and just make a swipe going up. Don't play with it too, too much. I'm just adding it to random places here and there. Now it's time for the embellishments. We're just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the back. Now remember that these are made out of hot glue, so you don't want to keep, you don't wanna to touch the tip of the hot glue gun to the back of this embellishment because it will distort it and it will melt it. You're gonna glue one to the front of the bottle and one to the roof. And we're taking that white metallic paint and just going over the butterflies. Once the white metallic paint has dried, we're gonna get out some Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. I don't remember the exact name of this one, but it's a turquoise teal color. We're gonna get kind of a hard bristled brush or an old brush and pounce it down on these butterflies. You really wanna get in all the cracks and crevices once you get done with that, we're going to take a second coordinating but different embellishment mousse also by Nouveau. This is a nice olivey, jadey green color. I'm just dipping my finger in and going over the butterflies just to catch the details and not get it down in the grooves. Now I'm going to take some liquid leaf in gold. And again, you're going to want to use an older, stiffer paintbrush, and we're just going to dry brush this on to the butterflies. Again, just trying to catch those details. Then I'm going to put a heavier coat towards the outside of the wings, and it's going to really make these butterflies pop. Once you get done putting the liquid leaf on the butterflies, you're gonna paint the bottom rim, kind of the birdhouse's porch with the liquid leaf. And we're also gonna do the top rim of the jar and the underneath side of the birdhouse. I don't know why I'm painting this because it's really not gonna show, but I am OCD about some things, so that's why. After you've painted everything in the liquid leaf, you're gonna dry brush over the whole vase with some of this liquid leaf. Just in random spots, wherever you think it looks best is where you should put it. Or if you don't like it, don't put it at all. It's completely up to you. This is gonna be your project. Set your beautiful creation and let it dry. And once the paint has dried, we're gonna get out some Mod Podge or any other sealant that you have. Since you're painting on glass, you really wanna seal this. I am using two coats of Mod Podge on the outside of this vase, and I'm gonna let it dry in between coats. And once it's dry, we'll move on to the next step. Now that everything is sealed and dried, we're gonna take some moss, and when I use my moss, I cut it instead of rip it out because it makes the worst mess. So I, I cut it rather than tear it and pull it. And once you have a piece cut out, we're gonna simply hot glue it to the birdhouse porch. I don't know what else to call it. So that's what we're gonna call it. Just hot glue it down there. Once you have that moss glued onto the porch, just take a little bit and hot glue it into the opening of the bird's home. And once you have that done, we're gonna take some floral pieces, just bits and pieces. I got the florals that you can see on my table at Dollar Tree. Now the tag says that it's amaranthus. I don't think it's amaranthus because there was also some fern leaves that also said amaranthus. I'm gonna take two of these stems off of this what Dollar Tree is calling amaranthus and wrap it under the butterfly and up the side of the vase. I'm adding some hot glue behind the butterfly and holding that floral stem in there until the glue dries. 
And the reason I'm doing that is because we are winding it. We don't want the florals to slip out of where we're gluing it. So just take that extra few seconds and let that glue dry between gluing it. And just wrap it up the front and just random, kind of like um, a vining floral. We're gonna take some greenery and again, just add it into random places. Wherever you wanna put your greenery is completely up to you. Like I said, this is your project. I have no idea what I'm doing, really. I'm just putting this greenery wherever it looks good. Along with the greenery, I'm also adding random bits and pieces of that amaranthus and also some other little white florals that I just little buds here and there. Once you get done adding your greenery and floral buds, guess what y'all? We are done. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about this really pretty English garden style birdhouse. Help me out with YouTube by giving me a thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button, and ringing that bell to get notified about all future videos and projects. And until next time, have a magical day.